Hey, what is going on, FBG fam? Further here, and welcome back to another snow break video. So, traditionally, I don't do videos like this, but I found this to be an exception because I found some interesting info here that I wanted to share with you all just in case you were unaware. Now, we all know that Snowbreak has been doing a lot of maintenances since global release, which is understandable because there's a lot of bug fixes that need to happen and a lot of polishing that needs to be done. Now, they're going to go ahead and do another one on July 27th, and usually, when they put out these tweets i skim them over to see if there's anything of value but usually not except once again for this one i was skimming through this and there was something that piqued my interest we're going to go ahead and talk about today hopefully you get some value from today's video let's go ahead and jump straight into it so if we scroll down to follow-up optimizations we look at number one this is what piqued my interest to do this video today to share with you all so it says increase and adjust the strength of some operatives and the sniper rifle horn of orca we're gonna get to that second part here in just a second but let's go ahead and dissect the first part increase and adjust the strength of some operatives to me the way i interpret this is that they're going to be buffing some operatives and they're going to be rebalancing some other ones so i found this to be incredibly interesting because i don't know what operatives they would be buffing and i don't know what operatives they will be rebalancing but once again you have to take this with a grain of salt as this is just my interpretation of what they're talking about it could be something completely different i just don't know because they don't go into any further detail but once again for my interpretation increasing the strength sounds like they're buffing and adjusting the strength sounds like they're rebalancing you can let me know your thoughts down in the comments below and your opinions on what you think but this is something that is exciting in my opinion because we can see possibly some rebalances to some operatives that might have been lacking a little bit and we can see some buffs to some that may have been falling behind and all in all that is very exciting in my opinion and then the sniper rifle horn of orca sounds like it's going to be getting an adjustment it may not have been working properly so if i pull the game up I have the Horn of Orca right here. This is the sniper rifle that is a kinetic element and it increases crit damage amplifier by 21% and standard ballistic damage by 4%. Also replenishes one bullet when standard shot hits a weak spot. Now, you have to keep in mind I don't have this weapon so I'm not sure what was not working or what maybe needs to be buffed about this weapon. It sounds pretty strong so it leads me to believe that there might be an adjustment that needs to happen with this one and it leads me to believe that something was not working properly. So this is gonna go ahead and get adjusted and excited to see what that is. And if you have this sniper rifle, let me know in the comment section down below if this one just hasn't been working properly for you. So let's go ahead and head back over to the tweet here. Now we go to number two, adjust the efficiency of obtaining the neural connection of Gigalink and reduce the completion conditions on some weekly tasks to alleviate the burden of the weekly task that's kind of repetitive in what they stated there but what that sounds like is that they're improving your quality of life and that is always a good thing when it comes to gacha games when you can alleviate the burden of doing weekly tasks that's going to enhance your enjoyment of playing the game because then you can get through those quicker to get to what you really want to do within the game and not have to worry about it so that is very nice and then adjust the efficiency obtaining the neural connection and giggling that's great as well right always a good thing there so quality of life updates very nice to see that's what you want from your gacha game moving over to number three add a raid function for operation system to reduce the time consumed for daily tasks once again this quality of life update is going to be very nice for players in the game and i think a lot of players are going to be appreciative of Snowbreak and the developers valuing your time in the game so that way once again you can get to what you want to really do rather than having to do these daily tasks and spend your majority of your time working on those so that is very nice quality of life moving over to number four fix the problem that when logistics dharma squad is equipped with three officers simultaneously the set does not take effect on some operatives so we have that bug fix that is going to be updated now this one right here number five add new co-op gameplay and related events this one piqued my interest as well. So they're going to be adding new co-op gameplay. Not sure what that entails. I don't know if it's going to be similar to the co-op that we have or if it's going to be something completely different. Excited to see what that all entails. And then related events. Once again, they don't go into detail. It's pretty ambiguous and vague. So I'm not sure what they mean by that. But all in all, exciting nonetheless for me personally. And then fix other known game issues 
once again not sure what that means they don't go into any detail about that but all in all i found this one to be very very interesting like i mentioned before especially one and especially five um this adjustment i'm really excited to see what this means in game and then i'm excited to see what the new gameplay for the co-op is going to be in the related related events and then also the quality of life updates is going to be nice just in general so I want to get your guys' thoughts down in the comments below. Once again, I just wanted to provide this to you. I don't normally, once again, don't normally do videos like this, but when I find something to be interesting and I find it to be very valuable within the game that can, you know, really alter landscape of Snowbreak as a whole, I want to make sure I provide that to you guys so you stay up to date and you know exactly what's going on. And this is going to be happening on July 27th. So we actually have a few days before this even starts or, or begins. So um yeah be on the lookout for that all also they mentioned something about updating the uh, mobile version as well to optimize that a little bit more so my mobile players you can be expecting that yeah we're working on improving the mobile gaming experience so hopefully they can get that in order and get that up and running here really soon because i know my mobile players are really suffering uh as of late but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and get on out of here I hope you found this video of some value. Thank you so much for all your support, and I'll see you in the next one. Remember to stand out, be different, have fun, go further beyond in everything that you do. My name is Cody. You can call me further, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.